we start with a puzzle. When the universe was created in the Big Bang, was energy created as well? If so, does this not violate the principle of conservation of energy? The solution will be given near the end of the video. Welcome to this nothing nerdy video on the principle of conservation of energy. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. You must know that energy changes from one form to another and that the total amount of energy never changes in an isolated system, nor in the universe as a whole. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. Energy is involved in every physical process and seems to take on very different forms. At the particle level, it can often be thought of as either kinetic or potential energy, but when we experience it, it takes many forms, chemical energy, sound energy, and many others. In textbooks and learning resources, you will see energy forms categorized in various ways. There is more than one correct way to make the list. This launching rocket is converting at least nine forms as listed here. You will learn more later in the course about the distinction between internal energy and thermal energy, which are both studied in the physics of heat and radiant and light energy. Solar, nuclear and electrostatic are three more commonly identified forms of energy. As you will have realized, they're not simply isolated in every situation, but combined with others. For example, in each of these examples, light and thermal energy are also involved in the processes. As far as we know, there are no exceptions to the principle of conservation of energy. It states that energy is never created nor destroyed. It changes from one form to another, as we have seen in the previous examples. What is important to realize is that the total of the energy at one moment in an isolated process is exactly equal to the total energy at any other moment. This is a list of 12 forms of energy, which covers most of the situations you will be asked to think about in an IB physics course. The principle of conservation of energy was discovered by the engineers and scientists who developed steam power. They often represented the processes in diagrams like this, where the width of the arrows is proportional to the amount of energy present at any moment. The forms of energy transform from one to the other. Along the green path, chemical energy in fuel, such as coal, is converted to thermal energy, which heats the water in the boiler to steam. A proportion of this heat energy is lost to the atmosphere. The steam moves the parts of the machine, which is mechanical energy, and the chain moves, which is kinetic. At each stage, the conversion to useful energy is never 100% efficient. There is always a lot of heat to the surroundings, shown by the red arrows, which is not converted to useful work. The principle of conservation of energy means that we can often calculate unknown quantities because we know that in an isolated system, the total of the energies at the start of the process is equal to the total of the energies at the end. In the process illustrated here, the amounts of useful work are shown. We can use simple arithmetic to calculate the values of heat lost to the surroundings. And we can check that the calculation has been done correctly by showing that the sum of all the lost heat, 28 plus 22 plus 10, plus the useful work, 40, adds up to the initial energy, which was 100. You may have realized that if every process conserves energy, then the total energy in the universe can never change. This is another way to express the principle of conservation of energy. As the ball falls, the gravitational potential energy converts into kinetic energy, and then a proportion is lost when it bounces. And we also know that the height to which it rises is proportional to the energy that it has. So if it loses 30% of energy, that means it rises to 70% of the height that it had before. And this happens twice, and therefore we can do this calculation of the initial height multiplied by 70% squared, and the answer is 1.96 meters. 
The answer to this puzzle is maybe. We do not know everything about the beginning of the universe. Lots of experimental evidence exists for the tiny fractions of seconds after the Big Bang, but we do not know what existed before it. Either everything, including the principle of conservation of energy itself, was created at that moment, which means energy was created as well. Or our universe is part of a larger reality, which may include parallel universes. In that case, the principle of conservation of energy could exist inside and outside of our universe, and then the answer is no, energy was not created. There are still many unanswered questions in physics.